What's up guys, Taylor here. Uh, today is Saturday, September 12th, and today is my one official month on testosterone. Uh, this past Wednesday I took what was my fifth shot, marking four weeks on T, uh, but my first shot was August 12th, so today is my official one month on T. Um, as far as changes go, I have already noticed some changes. Um, the first one being my voice. It's not super different, but um, a couple weeks ago I posted like a little guy video of <clears throat> just like quick updates. But um, after my first shot on August 12th, a couple days later I got really sick. Not from the shot. I got sick from someone or something and a couple days after that then I ended up losing my voice almost completely. And so then after I started feeling better and whatnot, my voice still wasn't back 100%. So my friends and I were all like, oh, am I still sick? Um, is my voice just not back yet? I don't know. But it never came back 100%. And so it is changing, and it has changed a little bit, and there is a slight difference in it. Um, you can definitely tell in person. When I do talk, it does feel different. I don't know how to explain it, but it just it feels different when I talk. Uh, Back in the day, if I would get like grossed out by something, I would say "ew" in like a really high-pitched, girly tone, and I can't do that anymore. Like my voice gets to a certain point, and then it just stops, like it cuts out, it doesn't go any higher. Um, on the same note as my voice, the deepening of my voice is definitely giving me more confidence. Uh, for example, if I'm at work or something, and someone says, "Thank you, sir." and I open my mouth and start speaking, obviously the deeper my voice is, the more confident I am about being called sir or he or him or whatnot. So it's super exciting and can't wait to see where that goes. <clears throat> um, other changes, there's definitely changes in the downtown, but we're not getting into that. There's just, it's changing. Um, other than that, I'm starting to get dark little guy hairs in this region, there's some, a little bit over here, but mostly here. Can't, I'm not even going to attempt to show you on here because shitty quality A and B, it's, you can hardly see it in person, you just got to get like right up on me and you can see it. Obviously I notice it since I want to know what's going on with my life and my face. Um, other than that, uh, like my facial shape, um, a couple days ago, I don't know, I posted a picture of, a picture of me pre-T next to a picture of me now, and my jawline is a little bit more defined, it's starting to, I don't know how to say it, like square up more, like I don't know, whatever, but when I look in the mirror, I can definitely tell it's a little bit different, um, little bit, I don't know, whatever. Um, my hair on my body, like for example my leg hair, when I decided to start letting it grow out, it grew in kind of patchy, which is still a little bit patchy, but the hair on my thighs, there wasn't really any, or it was just like long little guy hairs, but now it's starting to thicken up a bit and grow up there, so I don't look so awkward. Um... But other than that, I think as far as changes, that's really all I've seen so far. So excited to see what's to come, especially with the voice aspect of it. Um, one last thing, at my job, I'm going to be officially he and him now. Um, I have accepted a new position within the same company that I work for, except it won't be where I am have been currently working. It'll be in another location. So it is a bittersweet moment because all of my friends where I did work, I'm going to miss them so much. Like, they were the people that I went to for support. They're the ones that I trusted to come out and say, hey, like, I'm transgender. I'm taking shots of testosterone. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And blah, 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 blah. And they were so supportive. And I don't know. It just sucks. Like, it sucks knowing that I'm going to get up. I'm going to be going to work, but I'm not going to be seeing like my friends every single day like I have been. But 
it's a good thing in the long run. I can see how it's going to be a good thing. I'm going into this new position already as Taylor the boy, rather than having to be Taylor the lesbian coming out as a boy, having to explain this to customers and people and whatnot. Like, I feel like that's a little bit of an awkward time, so I am excited in that aspect of it. My manager, where I'm going, already knows, so it's super exciting. It's going to be a good thing. That's what I had to focus on. Um, one last thing. I have gotten the question, which really weird question. I don't know. But people have asked me, since I'm going through this change and I'm doing this, I don't know, like, what what am I? Like, am I still going to like girls or am I flipping to liking guys? And I'm like, no, like, I still like girls. I said it before, in my mind, I've always been a guy. But I'm a guy that likes girls. I'm a straight male. When you get into like all the technicalities of it, it's really confusing, especially for anyone that I date. Like, like if I date someone who's always been a lesbian and classifies himself as a lesbian, and now they're dating a straight male, they're not really a lesbian. So all that's like super complicated and really confusing, and I don't really know why it needs to be focused on, but just to clear the waters. I like girls. <laughs> it's not changing. Um, but, yeah, so, one month on tea. This next Wednesday will be my sixth shot that I will take. And I am doing all the shots myself at home. To myself. I've done every single one of them to myself. That is big accomplishment. Big boy right here. Um, but, Thank you to all my friends and family for all of the support that you've given me and all of your continued support. It means more than I could ever express gratitude for. So thank you, and I will keep you guys updated. That's it for now. Thanks, guys.